10 day delay. 10 days ago. Until President Trump delivered his answers. Correct. But also, we don't know exactly what the 10 day reason was. Was it because they want to assess the extent of the cooperation with Manafort? Is it because Manafort is going to be a critical witness in a case that they haven't announced yet? That's the big question is, is he cooperating so much? that they wanted to wait until they could make a public announcement about another indictment where Manafort might be involved. Or potentially so little that he could be indicted again. Correct. Well, I have no question that they're not thinking about using him as a witness. His credibility is shot. They so are would they strike a deal with? Well, because they want him to provide information, documentary information, self-proving information, information about events that they could then follow up. It would be a mistake to use Manafort or Corsi or any of these guys who have real credibility problems. Mueller's too smart for that. He's going to have to make an airtight case and relying on the credibility, if it's uncorroborated, of admitted liars is not the way to go. If it's uncorroborated, right? And that becomes the key question <laughs> is they certainly might use someone like Manafort if they can back up his account with independent evidence. And as a result, he could be. Uh, a critical witness. And, 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 and Alan, they do seem to have been working hard to strike these deals. You mentioned Corsi. Yes. That's Jerome Corsi, an associate of Roger Stone, perhaps could become a witness mm -hmm. against Roger Not Stone. Not a witness. Not a witness. Uh, Again, he's a guy who is a provider. Evidence. He's a conspiracy theorist. And, and he's not going to be a witness. What, no, but if they have corroborating evidence to support to his you, account. As a defense attorney, I love when they put on people uh, like Corsi and Manafort, even when it's corroborated, they're so much better off not putting on these questionable witnesses and using their information to make the case with okay, let, let's, 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 let, let's, let's stipulate that. Let's just talk about the information. So we're getting information from Paul Manafort. We're getting information perhaps from Corsi. We're already getting information from Gates, from Cohen, from Phil. That's an awful lot of it people is. tied to the president oh. providing evidence. It is. And I think the report is going to be devastating to the president. And I know that the president's team is already working on a response to the report. And and so at some point, when the report's made public, and that's a very hard question considering the new attorney general who has the authority to decide when and under what circumstance to make it public, it will be made public probably with a response alongside. The president will say, ah, look, it's political. There's their account and there's our account. And then the American public will have to judge the credibility. But for you to say it's devastating is really something. Well, but, but let, let's talk about why someone like Corsi is so important. Some people say, you know, oh, Mueller's veering off into all these different areas. Corsi goes to the heart of the question of who in the Trump campaign knew what and when about the hacking, about the distribution of that information, et cetera. So if they make a deal with someone like Corsi, that means that they believe he's got information linking it back to someone in the Trump campaign. Doesn't mean it's Donald Trump himself, but Roger to, Stone, the most Roger Stone, aspect. the most likely one there. And and that's really important on the critical questions that we've been talking well, about. The critical questions are largely political. When I say devastating, I mean it's gonna paint a picture that's gonna be politically very devastating. I still don't think it's gonna make a criminal case because collusion is not criminal. The conspiracy uh, to cooperate with an attempted to fraud the United States government is a crime. No, no, that that's too, it's too much of a stretch conspiracy to attempt to obstruct to the United States government, they're going to need more than that. What I think Mueller's going to do if he's smart, he's not going to take a chance on being rebutted. He's going to just lay out just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. He's going to lay out the facts, leave it to Congress to decide whether that rises to the level of impeachable offense. I still think Trump's greatest vulnerabilities do not lie with Mueller. They lie in the Southern District of New York because Mueller's allegations have constitutional defenses, whereas if there's any shenanigans having to do with business, they don't have constitutional Alan's defenses. Alan's taken the position that, you, that the president effectively can't obstruct justice. You know, he right? can if he does what Nixon did, destroy evidence, tamper with witnesses, pay hush money. He can't be convicted of obstruction of justice by exercising merely his constitutional so authority to fire.